My name is Alnita Smiley, and I'm the Student Stabilization Manager here at College Bound St. Louis. College Bound does a really good job of the academic piece of getting kids to and through college. This role then focuses on that child or that family unit as a whole, because it takes more than just the actual skills or the ACT test or the tutor. In very simple terms is how can I think about college if I'm hungry, if I'm homeless? How can we get to education if we don't have like those basic needs being met? The needs that our families experience are varied. They can be complex. And so we put in place this case management process where Alnita works directly with the families and the students connecting them with resources in the community and even helping provide direct financial support through our emergency financial assistance. I see myself sort of as like a liaison between accessing community resources, being able to like access and navigate systems, and what does that look like? Car repairs for a single mother who's shuttling three kids helping a student transition and into housing when she was about to age out and be completely on her own. Shania is a senior and she is amazing. She goes to Eureka High School, such a like well-mannered, sweet girl. She had been having housing issues since seventh grade. I'll never forget in our meeting, she says, I'm worried about my birthday because when I turn 18, they're gonna say that I'm grown and then put me out. She feels like something is going to happen. This is her life. She knows it more than I do. I always wanted to go to college, and my mom encouraged me to go. They do help with, like, college and, like, getting you through everything. They go beyond that, too. I've been going through, like, a lot of stuff, so, like, they're, like, the first support system that I really reach out to because they show that they care so much. Anita was very new to College Bell. Even though she didn't know me that well, she was the first person that was like, yes, I will help you regardless. Like, she dropped everything and was there for me. Mary Grove is this program here in St. Louis that helps house teenagers that have housing instability or deal with homelessness. And I called them twice a week for three weeks. And that wait list went from like two years to four weeks. She did a couple of interviews. She got accepted into their program. so. In a couple of weeks, she'll be moving into her own apartment that Mary Grove. It's a program that she stays in for a year. She is required to save 60% of her income. And then when she leaves, she gets all her money back. So we went from kind of not knowing what was gonna happen to having stable housing. I think it's amazing that we were able to intervene because had we not, I don't think she would have matriculated to college because who can when they're dealing with homelessness? Yeah, I want to be a travel nurse. That's really like my end goal, because you have to be in the hospital first and then you go on to travel nursing. I want to be able to just take care of myself and I wanted a career that will give that to me. It feels good to have people on your side and like a good, strong support system, because for a while like, I didn't have that, I felt. Alnita has experienced a lot of the things that our students and families have experienced. When she works with them, she's working with someone who she can really empathize with because she has been there. So we've been able to see her connect with families on a very deep level, re-engage students who we hadn't seen for a while, and really bring a productivity and a passion and a heart to this work that we were really hoping for. Stabilization is vital to our mission is vital to the work. And if we don't stabilize our students and our families, we will not see them go to college. We will not see a success rate. Your donation and what you do like changes lives. And I could show you with data and with outcomes. And that's what stabilization does. I know I'm leaning more towards like UMSA, which is close by like the apartment I might be in. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm proud, but I know it doesn't stop her, so yeah.